Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and AEM is cloud and it's offering from Adobe since long now so I thought oh, let's learn this new technology so we will learn how it is different from the earlier versions of AEM AEM on-premise solution, Adobe managed services um, so first thing is we need to understand since it's AEM is cloud what is cloud so I would really suggest uh, to learn maybe any of the cloud AWS, Azure, Google, anyone because we need to understand the basic concepts of cloud computing and then it will be a cup easy easy thing to understand AMS cloud too at least the basic cloud computing concept we should understand what is cloud I just to try to elaborate for example if you are using Facebook Gmail Google etc we are already using cloud anyways but Previously, before this cloud thing, uh, for example, I want to store any data on my uh, laptop. So where it is getting stored? It's in hard disk, right? So for example, if I'll store photos, I'll write code, etc. Everything is going to, to the disk, disk, local disk of this computer or laptop. Now, the problem is uh, um, security. I mean, for example, if it is stored my laptop or uh, or on computer and something happens to the disk it's gone right and uh, also availability so for example I have it on my laptop maybe I'm in my class now or I'm taking some session I want to use it I don't have it so the cloud concepts is nothing but it's this service is available over internet so for example I can use Gmail anywhere I just need internet connection right so it's available on internet storage so for example right now uh, the disk size I have is 256 GB I want to increase it what I need to do I need to go to market I will purchase a new SSD I will you I will put it on my laptop maybe it's extendable or not that's another headache I can increase that uh, RAM or not because of lots of permutation combination right so on cloud it's easy I have one server going on I want to increase the server storage I can increase just you we need to click few buttons and it's done maintenance now someone else is maintaining my server uh, okay so for example AWS is maintaining my server or Google is maintaining my server so Azure is maintaining my service and I like I already said hardware purchase thing is gone uh, now these uh, servers uh, okay so for example AWS or Google Cloud they are providing lots of services lots of services compute services and whatever services I want to use I can just purchase them uh, no need to purchase all so and you need to pay what you use uh, okay and security data recovery so these are the concepts right data recovery disaster recovery so for example um, I have so they have different AZs different uh, zones different uh, reasons where we they store the replica of the content and what happens if something bad happened to one AZ or one reason maybe because of the natural calamity and some flood is going on so the whole data center is just vanished on one city or one uh, something is going on in one country but still I have the data on another region so that way we, we have I mean there are these are the concepts okay I mean behind the scene there this this whole concept is huge but uh, uh, if that is the purpose or that is the advantage advantage of using cloud okay now with AEM we use we have on-premise the earlier versions a on-premise where we will have the server we have to maintain it so for example I want to have AEM 6.3 or 6.5 uh, as an on-premise solution maybe I will I will purchase a server first and then I will install my AEM on it and then I will maintain it I'll make sure uh, the RAM is good the, the disk space is good the CPU utilization is good it's my job so it's on for my solution I will uh, mint I will have that maintenance uh, run on my server so that's my job Adobe managed services is nothing but still kind of on premise only but uh, this maintenance activity right uh, maintenance activity if there is something is going on will be done by Adobe so that's the only uh, thing which is changed with of course with the start with few minor uh, variations as well but that is the like um, in overall it's the uh, difference between on-premise and AMS AMS cloud so Adobe will host it on on the cloud uh, and then they will provide it as a software as a service so we'll have the URLs 
the author URL uh, where you will do the authoring etc but Adobe will do it Adobe will just give you the URL no need to take headache of I mean how do we install the server on a uh, on the server etc and because we are talking about AMS cloud it means whatever cloud features we have on any of the clouds so for example AWS or Azure uh, the basic features will automatically come into picture so for example the scalability feature we will learn about it what is the scalability why it is always on I mean why it is why they say it's, it's always on or it's scalable right so we will learn about it uh, we, in the next video we are going to cover the architecture of AMS cloud and we actually will discuss why we are calling them images what is actual image we'll discuss about it but uh, to understand this whole concept what is AMS cloud it's cloud and AEM is there on the cloud and we got it as AEM as a software as a service. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected. Let's learn more about AEM's cloud.